Hello, in this video I will try to show the geometric interpretation of the Haushalter transformation. So first recall that the Haushalter transformation can be given by the identity matrix minus 2 times a vector V times V transpose. Sorry. So now, um, uh, sometimes you see it in another way, you see it divided by V transpose V. It's basically, it's the same thing. We'll see that later. So where does this formula come from? So first, what, what can we do with the Haushalter transformation? We can use it to find the QR factorization of a given matrix a. Uh, so we can decomp decompose our matri matrix A in two matrices Q and R, R where R is a upper triangle matrix, it has zeros below the di diagonal. Okay. Um, okay, and so we can use the household tr transformation to find such a QR decomposition. Now, where, what's the geometric interpretation behind this formula? For that, suppose we have a given vector x. We want to reflect it along the middle line in such a way that our new vector x prime will, will be only in the direction of one of the coordinate axes, here E1. So basically we want that our reflection gives us a new vector x prime that only has one non-zero component. Here the non-zero component is E1, so we will get something and then everywhere zeros. Okay, so something, let's go. Let's do a square. Okay. Basically, that's what we want to do with this reflection. Now, um, we have two vectors here, x and x prime. We can uh, find another vector, the vector u. Here. Goes from x prime to the old vector x. And so we can say that the vector x is equal to the vector x prime plus the vector u, and so um, x prime will be equal to x minus u. Now, our goal is to finally find this formula, q equals the identity matrix minus, uh, sorry, minus 2 times v, v transpose, sorry. Okay, um, how do we do that? So we, here, that thing, one, we will try to express the vector u in, in another way. For that, imagine you have a parallel axis here that is parallel to the vector u. You have a given unit vector, let's call it v, on this axis. Because this axis is parallel to the vector u, to find v, the unit vector v, we can just divide the vector u by its magnitude. Because the two vectors are parallel, they go in the same di direction. Okay, now we'll want, we'll, we, we want to find the projection of the vector x onto this new axis, will be the projection. Why do we want to do that? We'll see that later. Okay. For to find the projection, we can use the dot product. So the projection will be equal to the dot product of the vector x and the vector v. Uh, it's commutative, so we can see that it's v dot x. Okay. Um, okay. Now, 
um, you can express the dot product uh, in a matrix form. The, you can say that the dot product is basically here the dot product of v and x is v transpose times the vector x written in matrix form. So it's matrix multiplication. Okay, so you the v transpose and x will get multiplied in with the matrix mul multiplication. Okay. Now we can see that the vector u can be written as two times can be expressed as two times the projection of x onto our new axis. Okay. Basically, that's our vector u. Okay. Uh, so u equals two times our projection. Um, so basically, our projection is two times v transpose x. Okay. Now we said that x prime is x minus u. Now we can re rewrite u. Uh, with 2 times v transpose x. Now I just see that I forgot something. Um, the dot product gives us a scalar, not a vector. But here we need a, um, a vector because we have the vectors x prime, u, and x. So our projection basically has to lie on the new axis, so it has to be a vector. So um, the vector u is this projection times the unit vector v. Okay. Otherwise, it doesn't have it doesn't have a di di direction, and it's not a vector, and so it's not u. Okay. Now we can rearrange that. We can say um, it's equal to x minus uh, two times. We'll take the unit vector v in front. So 2 times v, v transpose x. Now if we, if we factor that, we get that, uh, let's just rewrite it. 2 times v, v transpose x. We can factor out x. Uh, sorry, I had a problem. We can factor out x. So here we will have the identity matrix minus 2 times v, v transpose times x, okay? And that is basically, um, that is our, that will give us our new vector x prime. So remember, if we draw it, that's x prime. So basically we, we begin with the vector x and then we subtract two times we subtract the vector u which is basically two times uh two times the projection of x onto our new axis with the unit vector v and then we had to give it a direction okay that, that that's that okay and so uh, x prime is vector x minus 2 times v, v transpose x. And so if you factor out an x, we get, uh, yeah, we get the identity matrix minus 2 times v, v transpose. Okay. And that is basically our household transformation because, uh, if we affect, we use the household. If we use the household transformation on with the vector x, that's that's equal to to uh, yeah, that's equal to identity matrix minus two times v v transpose times x. So we can the x cancel basically. So you you have that. You're left with that. So it comes from me. So basically, it's basic geometry. 
Um, so you start with the vector x, and then you you do the reflection to land on the to get x prime. Then you find the vector u, and u can be expressed with uh, two times the unit vector of this parallel axis to u uh, times the projection of x and v. And so you get this formula. And uh, I said sometimes this formula you will get divided by v transpose v. Basically it's the same thing, it's just that here if we divide it's that our vector v isn't already a unit vector. So we have to divide it by its magnitude. And uh, the magnitude, basically, it's um, the square can be written as the square root of the dot product with the vector with itself. But here, uh, and the dot product can be written in matrix form as V transpose here, V. But here we don't take the square root. Why? Because we need to divide two times by the magnitude. Why? Because um, on here we have basically two times the vector v. We have the vector v and its transpose. So we need to divide both by the magnitude to get the d unit vector. Okay, and so if we divide two times by its magnitude, uh, um, so it's, you divide by the magnitude and you divide by the magnitude, so it's the magnitude squared, and so it's it's yeah it's equal to the square root of the dot product squared, so it's equal it's equal to uh, it's equal to v transpose v, which is the dot product. Uh, sorry, we don't see it. Let's make a new page. Um, magnitude squared is equal to the dot product with itself. Because we don't we don't take the square root, which is equal to uh, in matrix form v transpose v. Okay. So basically, it's the the, the same thing. If or vector v isn't already a unit vector, but here it's the case, so we don't need it. And that is basically the house of the transformation, so which can be used to make a QR factorization. So it's basic geometry, you need dot the dot product, you need to know how to add and sub subtract vectors, uh, and to know that the dot product can be seen as the projection. And yeah, basically it's all. And um, basically, um, the new vector x prime. So let's redraw it. The new vector x prime. It's basically equal to the magnitude of the vector x times the direction. So here e one. Why? Because if you reflect it, the length of the vector doesn't change. It remains the same. But now the, the difference is that our new vector x prime has only one non-zero component, as we said in the beginning. But the length is the same. So x prime can be written as the magnitude of the vector x times the new direction here in E1 direction. Okay. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.